Here we are once again with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and what we have is the Ibuchi Migaki uh, Shidogami R White Number no. 2 Bunka 170mm knife. So this line of knives is composed of a three layer uh, construction and in the center you've got the hardcore cutting steel which is known as Shidogami or White Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel. Heat Treat is 61 plus Rockwell on that, uh, probably 61, 62 ish. The construction is a reactive iron, uh, soft iron cladding on either side of that harder reactive core steel. So th this is an all reactive blade. It looks to me like the cladding does come over the top of the spine uh, and cover all the way around. The um, This style of knives from this maker, they are thick, very sturdy, kind of heavy, very stiff, so that they're not. Their style is not super skinny like laser style knives. They've got a lot of meat to them. They're very well crafted, but they do have a particular style. And all their knives are similar in that respect. So uh, the weights and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife on these. But this particular one is 184 grams or 6.5 ounces. Edge length from the tip around to the back of the heel is about almost 7 inches, 174 millimeters. And the overall length about 12.3 inches or 312 millimeters. As I said, these are fairly thick knives, so coming out of the handle above the back of the heel, I measured about 3.1-ish uh, millimeters, and then it thins down just a little bit. I got about 2.7 halfway down the knife, and then you can see it really doesn't lose much off of that. Uh, this bunka has the reverse kind of sword tip, uh, and you can see we do not lose much thickness until we get to the grind, and the grind is not really where the sandblasted kind of uh, Kasumi finishes here, it's a little further down than that. So you start kind of getting thin right in there and you can really see that right here. So it's not, it gets pretty thin at the very, very tip, but this isn't just going to go fly through products. So it's got, got some meat there. Same thing with, um, you know, the grind towards the edge. It's, it thins out at the very edge, but you got a lot of meat behind the edge there. So that's just their style. They're really stiff. Uh, very nicely made though. So let's take a look at the height. 47.8 millimeters at the heel. So you got lots of clearance here for your fingers. Uh, the neck is kind of a medium width, which kind of flows pretty well into this handle. So there's a good spot for your finger there. Um, as long as we're at it right here, let's look at the balance point. So here's your balance point on these. And you can see that's pretty close to a pinch grip, at least for my hand. Um, the handles are nicely done. It's an octagonal handle with a, a wood known as uh, kiyaki and brown pack of wood, which is pretty cool, a little unusual. Uh, nice fit and finish on the handle. It definitely feels like a, kind of a dense wood. Um, the handle installs pretty good. They do have a little bit of a gap. You might want to check that. If there's a bit of a gap there, you might want to seal that with some wax or uh, some kind of sealer so you don't get water back in there. Uh, but nice job on the handle. It's uh, got a nice look and feel to it. And um, let's see here. Let's uh, look at the close-up. What's neat about this knife, it's got a brushed finish or, uh, along that goes longitudinally with the blade. Sometimes they, they're they calling that a hairline finish. So it's a brushed finish that goes this way. One thing that's really cool about that is you clean the knife and dry it. You tend to go this way and you'll get scratches going that way. And that goes with the grain on that finish and will help hide those. You've got some hand chiseled kanji on there. And uh, that's a really nice crisp chiseled kanji. It looks really good. You can see the brush finish into the kind of sandblasted Kasumi finish there. And then you've got your coarse steel peeking out from the edge. So here's the left side of the blade. You can see it's very nicely done. The spine is um, just got enough of a relief on it where it, it's not um, going to you know, get you at all with the fingers. It's not super rounded, but it's very comfortable. They've done a nice job on the choil here. Uh, to relieve that a little bit. I will say on the left side of the blade here, uh, it's a little bit rough. Uh, the right side of the blade here, it's a little bit more rounded. Um, so if you're a righty, you're probably pretty good. With a lefty like me, I'm kind of hitting that. But you could clean that up pretty easily. Um, overall, again, the fit and finish is nicely done on these things. The grinds are pretty clean on them. And I'd say the out-of-the-box edge is maybe 5, 6 out of 10. It's pretty sharp out-of-the-box. Again, very stiff blade. 
Let's look at the profile. This is quite a rounded profile towards the tip. So look how high that tip is. A lot of Bunka knives, that tip's way down here. So this is not a chopper. Uh, you've got a little bit of a flatter area towards the back, but then boom, big old aggressive belly towards the tip. So quite unique in the shape compared to most Bunka knives. So obviously this is a champion rocker, big time. And just a little bit, I'm not even going to call it flat, just a little bit of a, you know, stop at the back there, just a touch of flat. Uh, but obviously I can get way up here and rock this thing. So quite a unique profile on it. So if you like your knives, you know, kind of thick and kind of a little bit of a mass to them, real confident, real stiff, uh, this might be right up your alley. So... And again, it's this their style. So this is the Ibuchi Migaki Shidogami or white number two Bunka 170 millimeter knife.